Welcome back guys, I'm Zell and today we're taking a look at the Kershaw Pico, a Les George design. <laughs> Kershaw's Pico is an all stainless knife. We've got a stainless slab here and a large lanyard hole couple of body screws and they look like they're pretty good body screws look like the recesses are done well and a decorative pivot and this is one of the ones that uh, I like our decorative pivot there has a nice deep torx recess right there in the middle of it so it shouldn't be a problem taking apart the knife and very clean here nothing special on the handle handles same thing on the other side Nice and clean. All we have is a lock bar cut out. We do have a recessed pivot. That's very, very nice. And we have a deep carry pocket clip that's a tip up left or right hand. I did find this pocket clip a little snug for tactical pants. Seems to work fine with denim. And we'll see here in a minute whenever we pull out the Levi's. Very plain knife except for our decorative pivot. And it's about 3.94 inches long with a pretty skinny handle thickness of 0.41 and a closed height of 1.1. So this is a really small but heavy duty knife. You know, we do weigh in a little over four ounces. So this is definitely not uh, some super fly, like, fly weight like a Delica or uh, a Kara Kara 2 or Metal Arc or something like that. It's a more substantial knife, and you know, it is designed by Liz George, and he's kind of the ergonomics and substantial knife guy without getting ridiculous. So, moving on along, I said nothing fancy here, but whenever we do roll it around to the back, our back spacer is quite nice. We've got uh, some little cutouts in there and everything. Looks really good. That continues on to here. So very nicely done there our flipper tab has just enough jimping without that jimping that they like to put on the very ends of these it's really really sharp so it works really really well and uh, for size comparison we'll throw out a delica if i can get it out here so it is smaller than your delica and we've got a rat model one which it's considerably smaller than the Rat Model 1 in just about any dimension. And just for fun, there's a case sawed buster. So it's a pretty small knife, guys. And being that small and having a and having this deep carry pocket clip makes for a knife that once you get it down in the pocket stays down really low and one thing I pick on things for our flip up at the end of the pocket clip is not severe so hopefully this thing won't get caught on anything didn't have that problem for me my only problem was getting it up on those screws there and that's kind of an issue if we look here we can see that they left this thing flat against the uh, scale of the knife yeah, and that's okay, but they apparently didn't round it enough there on that edge. The screws are recessed. That's freaking great. If, if they had milled out this area for the pocket clip to fit into perfectly, this would probably be the most beautiful pocket clip that Kershaw's ever put on a knife. But since they didn't and they laid it on top of the scale, it is a little rough getting in the pocket in the beginning. You know, I may take that off and round that a little bit. I don't know. Whenever we actuate the speed safe system and get the blade out here, we have a pretty small blade at 2.8 inches, so it's legal almost everywhere. And an edge length of 2.65 has a nice sharpening choil that extends past the plunge grind, which is a beautiful thing. And our grind is hollow, gets pretty darn thin behind the edge, and we have these stone washed grinds and a brighter color for the finish or kind of a satin a uh, well polished satin it's not definitely not high polish and uh, translates to both sides 
and we have two swedges up here our other grinds that are of course stone wash as well and whenever we bring it up the top we have our kind of standard swedge here diamond shape here and then on down to the tip of the knife very nicely done now this knife I have had some issues with Chinese Kershaw's and sharpness out of the box now this knife is obviously sharp I have sharpened it so there's no question about it being sharp I get too many sticky things that don't like to cut it but other than that it's plenty sharp and we'll move on along to our pause and read card and I'll be back with you in a moment all right our pivot on this is a decorative pivot captured on this side looks very nice I haven't had to take this knife apart so uh, I have not looked in we do have phosphor bronze bushings but I haven't looked much further than that and we do have this pin right here is a hidden stop pin and uh, makes for no stop pin back here looks very nice uh, and lets the knife be a little more flow through it's uh, probably half and half or so and our locking mechanism of course is a frame lock now like another previous uh, Kershaw we looked at it's pretty early in lockup you know it's uh, what around 20% or so maybe 30 and that's whenever you use the speed safe system and flip it open if you go and open it slowly it's even less that's something to be aware of you know if you see there we're talking less than 10 percent so if you are going to open one of these slowly you need to be sure and push that bar over i don't know if that's something new in kershaw's design it kind of bothers me seeing as how it's been two knives that exhibit very similar characteristics but you know every time i flipped it with the kershaw system I get that close to 30-40% lockup and everything's good. And moving on to ergonomics. Now this is a Les George and that's something he's good at. It's a very small knife but it still fits your hand well. There aren't any real choils on here. You got a little bit if you want to call it that. And you do have the flipper tab to keep you from running up on the blade. But it's mostly just in shape. In this uh, shape right here that keeps you locked in and even though it's a small knife and I've got medium large hands whenever I wrap my hands around it I've just barely got a little bit of knife sticking out back here and it works fine I have a little bit of jimping here across the blade uh, pad of my thumb kind of hits it and we're in good shape makes for a pretty comfortable knife to use no matter what you're doing with it and you know you guys probably get tired of hearing me say that, but uh, I, I don't get knives to show you guys that uh, have junk ergonomics. If they have bad ergonomics, I either purposely got them uh, for a specific reason, or they surprised me. But this one is just like any of the others we've looked at. It's got pretty darn good ergonomics. And, of course, we're using the Kershaw Speed Safe System. Like I've said before, Kershaw has probably got the best assisted opening system on the market they use a torsion bar in here that uh, is on a uses the blade as a pivot and whenever the blade is closed that spring keeps the blade closed whenever you push down on it you break over the tension and the knife flips out and that spring tension flips the knife out for you it's a really simple system it the only drawback here is occasionally those torsion bars will break and you know they don't have a detent on the knives or you know, there's a little hole here but uh, we'll watch and i was wrong this knife does have a detent on it i have not taken the torsion bar out to see if it could be de-assisted because my feeling on that for the most part is if a knife comes assisted from kershaw you might as well leave it assisted if the torsion bar breaks down the road and it has a detent ball you can probably use the knife for a little while while Kershaw sending you another torsion bar but other than that I don't de-assist the Kershaw's if I want a manual knife I will go ahead and get the ZT or whatever other brand 
So anyhow, the action on it is good, works well, and it's just a neat little knife. So that's the Kershaw Pico, guys. It's a kind of a small gentleman's EDC knife, and it's a pretty good one. It's another one, and I didn't mention in the camera down, but it's centered up real well. Everything works extremely well on this knife, except for that lockup, and as long as you're flipping it with the flipper, the lockup is fine. At 4.22 ounces, it makes for kind of a little chunk. But with the deep carry pocket clip and the good ergonomics, perfectly placed jimping, uh, if you're looking for that under three inch knife and you're looking for one that doesn't cost a lot because uh, street price on this thing is only about $25, $26, I think it's a good one. And uh, I would definitely not feel bad carrying it. It's a pretty good looking knife and Everything works well. So I think Les George and Kershaw have designed us a good one. And I really appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out with me to talk knives for a little bit. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.